Alright, so now this video we're going to talk about the area of a circle. Before we start, a quick recap. Um, circumference is the distance to go around the circle, it's like the perimeter. This is the center of the circle. The radius goes from the center to the outside edge of a circle in any direction. The diameter goes from one side of the circle through the center all the way to the opposite side of the circle. Now, an easy way to remember it, if you were, if you still can't remember from the circumference video, is that radius kind of looks like the R, and it goes halfway through the circle from the center to the outside edge of the circle, and the diameter goes all the way across, kind of like a little D. So the area of the circle, the space, the area of the circle is the space inside the circle. So basically, it's everything inside of the circle, that is the area. And you're going to use the formula, area is equal to pi times the radius squared. And remember, the radius squared is like the radius times the radius, so I wrote it out for you. Area is equal to pi times the radius times the radius. Remember, pi is going to be 3 and 14 hundredths. So let's start with an example. We want to find the area of the circle, and it has a radius of 7 meters. So we're going to use our formula, area is equal to pi times radius squared and just for right now, pi times radius times radius, and pi is going to be 3 and 14 hundredths, and our radius is going to be 7 meters, and the other radius is going to be 7 meters. So the easiest thing for me to do now is to multiply 7 times 7, and I would get 49. And then meters times meters would be meters squared. I used to tell my 8th graders last year that area square you because you're always going to have the square units. So now I need to multiply 3 and 14 hundredths times 49. 9 times 4 is 36. 3, 9, 10, 11, 12, 27, 28. 4 times 4 is 16. 1 before 5, 12. 6, 8, 8 and 5 is 13. 2, 4, 5, 1. You have one, two decimal places, one, two. So your area would be 153 and 86 hundredths square meters. That's how much it would take to fill inside this circle. Now, also in um, seventh grade, a little bit more difficult or more challenging is going to be a semicircle. And a semicircle is going to be half a circle. So this would be like a semicircle. Forgive the drawings, because you know how I am. It'd just be half of the circle. So basically, you're just taking half the area. So I put the formula here, half, and remember, this is the formula for how to find the area from up here. Or you could take the area and divide it by two. It's going to work either way. <laughs> then a quarter circle is going to be one-fourth of a circle. So a quarter circle, like I said, forgive it. Forgive my drawing. So a quarter circle is if you draw the circle into quarters. This would be a quarter of a circle. And so you'd find the area, and you just find one-fourth of the area. So you can do one-fourth times the area formula, or you can take the area formula and divide it by four. So let's, I got two examples here, so let's work those out and see how we do. Find the area of the shaded part of the circle. So here, this would be a semicircle. So, I'm going to work it out both ways. Area is equal to 1 half times pi times radius squared, and then area is equal to pi times radius squared divided by 2. So, 1 half pi is 3 and 14 hundredths, and right here, this looks like the diameter is 18. So if the diameter is 18 millimeters, my radius would just be half that, this part. So my radius would be 9 millimeters. So now I know 9 squared is 9 times 9, which is 81. And I'm going to stop there for a second, okay? I'm going to go over here to this other side. Now I'm just showing you both ways one time. You're not always going to have to work it out both ways. Area is equal to pi, which is 3 and 14 hundredths times the radius squared 
divided by 2. Area is equal to 3 and 14 hundredths times 81 divided by 2. You can see same way. Same way works. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do 3 and 14 tenths, 3 and 14 hundredths times 81. 8 times 4 is 32, 3, 8, 11, 24, 25. two decimal places, two decimal places. So that would be 254 and 34 hundredths. And we're going to divide it by 2. Sorry, I'm running out of room here. So I'm going to have to take 254 and 34 hundredths and divide it by 2. 2 will go into once. Bring down the 5, 2 and go on 5 twice, which would be 4, bring down the 4, be 17, 14, bring down the 3, 2 will go under 3 one time, 2, 1, bring down the 4, be 7. So the area of the shaded part would be 127 and 17 hundredths square millimeters. Because area is square area. Make sure those millimeters are squared. Alright, and then last one, determine the area of the quarter circle. So here, same thing. Area is equal to pi times radius squared. I'm going to just do divide by 4 to make things easier. So pi is 3 and 14 hundredths. My radius is 6 inches. I'm going to square that. Then divide by 4. Now, 6 squared is 6 times 6. Don't put a 12. That's 36 inches is also squared, and we're going to divide by 4. Now, I could multiply these two and then divide by 4, but it's going to be the same thing if I go ahead and... Never mind, I'm not going to go there. I'm just going to go ahead and multiply these two and then divide by 4. So 3 and 14 hundredths times 36. 6 times 4 is 24, be 6, 7, 8. 18, 3 times 4 is 12, 3, 4, 9, 8, 9, plus 4 is 13, 9, 10, 11, 1, 2. So I get 13, 113 and 4 hundredths. I need to divide that by 4. That'd be 2, be 8. Be 33, be 8 times 4, be 32, 1, 0, be 2, 2 times 4, be 8, subtract it 2, bring down the 4, 6. So it would be 28 and 26 hundredths inches squared. Now, as you can tell, it's going to be it's going to take some time and some work when you work out these problems because it's going to involve a lot of multiplication and division. So stay with it and stay patient. Don't just give up. 